If you're looking to spruce up your sewing or craft space, stay tuned, cause we're going shopping. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jen. This channel is all about making sewing and crafts fun and approachable. Recently, I got a chance to hit up one of my favorite stores for home and organizational supplies like craft room and sewing room storage, Ikea Tampa. And one of my favorite things about this store is all of the inspiration they have throughout the massive building, which I know you can easily just get lost for hours in. Plus they've got the great cafe and that little express snack bar downstairs. I always stop at one of those two spots. If you've never been to an Ikea before, they style out all of these little room vignettes and you can really see how things work in the space and I always get tons of great ideas, especially for maybe small rooms, because they manage to fit so much stuff in tiny spaces and show you how it's executed. So I wanna take you along as I toured my local Ikea to see what is new for 2022. Plus stay tuned to the end because there was a pretty big change at my store and it may also be impacting your store. So let's get it. And here we are. Whoever does the showroom displays at Ikea is a genius. They're always so cool and really show you the potential of the product lines. Right inside the entrance, it's pretty clear Ikea wants to highlight those Calex shelf units. Let's take a ride up the famous escalator. Quick warning, I'm probably gonna pronounce some of these names wrong. Okay guys, literally one of the first things I see is a bedroom model with a dedicated sewing space. It is absolutely adorable. Very boho chic with pink, white, and exposed wood theme. This setup features wall shelves with what I think is a kitchen table and the SCOTUS pegboard system, which I have and love. While this bedroom is pretty small, it definitely maximizes the square footage with lots of vertical storage. Plus the day bed has drawers underneath. Quick detour, what a dream kitchen. How do the stylists make everything look so perfect? On to the living room stuff. I do think there's a lot here that can actually work for our crafting space. Furniture like bookcases and the entertainment systems can serve other purposes. I'm really digging the sideboards and buffets. These display cabinets are a great way to show off some of your favorite fabric or supplies. I have seen so many people on Pinterest using Ikea desks for sewing or cutting tables. And I can see why, because there's such a variety of materials and finishes to choose from. And here's the popular Raskog utility cart I think everybody has except me. Even the kitchen section has a lot of potential for crafters. This cute wall-mounted spice rack and glass jars can be used for small bits and bobs. We got bedroom furniture like dressers and modular closet systems. I have a similar wire drawer set up in one of our closets. This is just for fun, but my real ulterior motive was to secure this wooden doll bed uh, for my rabbit. Yeah, this might seem a little strange, but I swear this is super hot with bunny owners. Aw, the store is decked out for Easter. Okay, we gotta take a quick dinner break. Everything looks so good. What should I get on the menu? I went with the classic Swedish meatballs. Talk about a reasonably priced meal. There are always some great finds in kitchen textiles. I'll get dish towels to use as embroidery blanks, and it's a nice, easy gift. Today, I found an apron that I'm going to try to monogram. Glass dishware is perfect for clear storage. Y'all know this is my top pick for down pillow inserts. Small desktop storage items, baskets, and boxes are another go-to at Ikea. There's lots of permanent mounted and plug-in lighting options so you can actually see what you're making. remember seeing this before, but I do like the selection of memo boards. Checkout was a breeze, and now it's time to head home. 
All right, we're out in the parking lot. I actually didn't end up getting that much stuff, surprisingly. I did get a very nice Swedish meatball dinner, but I got a couple of the Santa head picture frames, two of those. I thought these might be cool for like shadow boxes or some sort of paper crafting project. The green Torfly apron, I think this will be really cute to embroider. And of course I got a bed for J-Hop. This is the Duke Tig wooden doll bed that everybody gets who has rabbits. So that's my haul for today. You know, if I had more time, I would love to just go to Ikea around once a week and literally just hang out, get some exercise, see what's new, just kind of leisurely wander around the store. I wish I could do that. Maybe I'll try to make more time for that in the future. But it's one of those places to me that's just super relaxing, kind of chill. I also went on a Monday evening and it was very not crowded. So if you're trying to avoid the crowds, obviously you know not to go on like the weekends. Even some weeknights can be a little busy, like I mentioned Friday nights or on holidays. But for some reason, Monday night, it was very, very empty. So that was, for me, the best time to shop. Easy parking, not a lot of people, and you can kind of just do your thing. Anyways, the thing I wanted to bring up is that while I was walking around, I noticed one thing that was missing from my previous shopping trips and that is the section that sells fabric and sewing supplies. My Ikea used to have a section, it was near like the curtains and stuff, and there were bolts of fabric that with a self-cutting station, they also sold some like small sewing supplies. I got pinking shears there, they used to have like fabric scissors. And I think at one point they did sell like their own brand of sewing machine. It was a very entry level one. I did not get to try it out. And I bought fabric there a few times over the years, but not a ton because the fabric selection tended to be mostly for home decor. There's some other stuff I do use, like I'll use the sheets as fabric or blankets, but the fabric section, they did have cute prints I just found the substrate was not right for a lot of my needs. I noticed that the fabric section was missing this time and it had been about six to eight months since I was last at the store. And at first I just thought I missed it. I was like, okay, I'll just go back and check it out. Cause I was like, all right, I've got to get footage of the fabric section. This is a sewing channel, right? And I couldn't find it. So I went to ask an employee and they did confirm they decided to discontinue the fabric section at the Tampa location. So I was like, wow, that's pretty big news. So I went online to try to find information about the change, like to see if Ikea put out a statement about it or a press release. So I was kind of wondering, and when I talked to the employee, well, first of all, I want to state that they were not talking officially like on the record. This is a store employee. They do not work for the corporate office or in the uh, media relations or marketing department, publicity, that sort of thing. Usually that's the department that handles like media requests. I asked why they had decided to eliminate that section and they gave me several reasons. And when I heard them, to be completely honest with you, I think those reasons made sense for the company. No hard feelings to Ikea for doing it. I understand why, but I also don't wanna share those reasons because this person was was sort of speaking off the record just to me as a customer and not to me as someone with a somewhat sizable YouTube channel. So I did send an email to the IKEA media relations email. Several days ago, I asked them some questions. After shooting the video, I did realize IKEA had responded to my Facebook inquiry. The USA branch of the company did confirm it has discontinued the fabric section although they did not clarify whether this is a global decision or just here in America. So I'm just curious, let me know down below in the comments, does your Ikea store still have the fabric and the sewing supply section? Yes, no, and have you heard anything about this? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been a little bit light on the sewing and craft projects lately because I'm getting ready to go to the BTS concert in Las Vegas, and I still feel really unprepared. So I've been having to spend some time just researching what I'm gonna be doing there and like how to get around and stuff because I'm, I'm kind of freaked out. If you wanna see a vlog on that, I will be putting that out on the Gen Talks Forever channel, which is my more personal channel, if you're interested in seeing what happens at a BTS concert. But I hope this was helpful. And also let me know what are your favorite IKEA products. Obviously, I'm a big fan of the IKEA SCOTUS pegboard system. It's a big part of the set here. And I'm, I'm just a big fan girl of IKEA overall. And also this video is obviously not sponsored, just a disclaimer. I buy everything myself, no business relationship with IKEA. 
Anyways, I'm Jen with The Sewing Report. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to see you back here at The Sewing Report. I'll see you guys again in the next video. And remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.